This is Kristen Toomey for MPL 701 Leadership Ta Challenge Assessment to Task C Reflective Video. This has been an interesting subject to complete for me is as I'm working in an environment that at the moment is quite um, negative and abrasive. Uh, I'm working within an emer emerged council which is currently at its third year anniversary. Uh, it's been a very acrimonious and difficult merger, uh, not only within the staff, but in the community. And we are facing a number of challenges across the organisation as we move forward in relation to our sustainability, our efficiency and our ability to deliver projects for the community. In completing this subject, it's given me pause to reflect on uh, the way in which I approach the, some of these challenges. Um, in the three years that I've been working for Snowy Valleys Council, I've gone from being the coordinator of library services through to the manager of IT, then on to the special manager of projects for IT, and now I'm specifically working within the program management office as the manager of special projects. So I'm currently undertaking the delivery of a number of projects with a value of $3.3 million out of a total budget of council's projects of $35 million. Uh, several of my projects are internal projects, which have had difficulty getting buy-in from staff and have been hindered in their delivery. Uh, a number of my projects are also community-based um, and there has been backlash in the community related to some of these projects. So in completing this subject, it's given me pause to consider the challenges that I'm facing and the way in which I approach them, not only in their delivery, but I guess in communicating them back through to the executive and counsellors. Um, it's sometimes very frustrating to come up against those challenges and then not be able to get the understanding or recognition from the executive and more, more importantly, the counsellors. Um, the councillors have their own buy into some of these projects, so it can be quite challenging when you're trying to progress them. Um, I've learned a lot in terms of reflecting on my personal approach. Um, the, the case study that I have used in Assessment 2 is actually something that I am working on for Snowy Valleys Council. So it's part of a bigger project that I'm working on with two external contractors that Snowy Valleys Council has engaged to assess the viability of progressing with a program management office version 2 uh, from about August 2019. So as someone who's been in the thick of PMO1, and developing a, a framework for which PMO2 could work from. Uh, this assessment has given me a platform upon which I could develop the bones of a report to the executive and councillors for endorsement of a PMO2. Um, it's given me pause to reflect on how I was gathering information in relation to that report and it's now enabled me to rethink how I was approaching that report and um, how and why I was gathering some of that information. Being in the thick of PMO1 has given me my own views, but at sometimes I think I've allowed those views to influence um, my approach to other people in the organisation. So now I'm lucky that I'm working with an external contractor from the parent group who is assisting me in developing a report to the general manager and executive about developing PMO2. Um, and yes, it's been it's been very beneficial completing this course at this time given what my present work environment is like, um, the pressure that is being put on to members of PMO1 and the difficulty that we are facing um, on a number of fronts, whether that be staff, executive, uh, or the community. It's a very turbulent time, but I feel having completed this subject, I'm far more aware of how I approach my research, how I present my research, and 
the frameworks upon which I need to um, develop my thinking. Um, I, I know I have been far too basic in the past and this course has enabled me to recognise that failing um, and giving me pause to use opportunities when they present to get others to um, provide feedback and reflective input into what I'm doing. So it's been a very good subject. I've enjoyed um, undertaking it. At times I've not been as successful as I'd hoped to with the subject, um, but that's a reality of studying, I guess. Um, and when you're working and um, living with a family and whatnot, but it has been a good subject. I have enjoyed it. And yes, it's given me a lot of food for thought as I move forward in what I hope to be the next phase of my work career with Snowy Valleys Council as the possible operations manager of PMO2.